So hello again everybody. Uh, so for this, this week's three course take home menu, we kept it really casual and hopefully you'll find it nice and simple as well to do at home. Uh, so again, it all starts with this bag. Let's take a look inside. And there you go. Let's go through it step by step. So for your starter this week, obviously the weather outside is getting a little bit chilly. Uh, so we go for something nice and warming. We're doing a mushroom soup with my favourite mushroom, the maitake mushroom, with some salted duck egg and a chilli parsley garlic oil. So for the starter, uh, our first step, we just want to quickly pan fry the mushroom. So get the pan nice and hot. So nice and caramelised, so just remove them from the pan on a little bit of kitchen paper. So for our next step, let's heat up our soup. Mushroom soup with grilled mataki, salted egg and a parsley garlic oil. So this is our main course box, so let's take a look inside. We have our Swiss chard, we have our bean cassoulet and our comfy duck leg. So for the duck leg, we salted it with some spices and herbs and slowly cooked it in duck fat. I'm just going to put the skin side down in the pan. So our duck has got a lovely crispy skin, just remove it from the pan onto a baking tray. So our next step is just place it into the oven. Again, 180 degrees. That should only take about five minutes. And while that's warming, let's heat up our garnishes. So cooking the chard, use the same pan we cooked our duck in. Strain off a little bit of the oil, but keep a little bit of the duck fat in there for flavor. It'll take about 20 seconds to cook. So this is our bean cassoulet, just place that on the bottom of our bowl. So next I'm just going to fold up my greens and we just finish by placing our duck confit on top. So we have our duck leg confit with bean cassoulet and Swiss chard. So for dessert this week we're doing the sticky toffee pudding which is a really famous dessert that's made up in Cartmel in the Lake District. So let's take a look now. So we have our poached pears, miso toffee sauce and we also have our sticky toffee cake. So for the heating of the dessert, it's really simple. We're just going to place our pears onto our tray. And then we're just going to place a little bit of our toffee sauce on top of our cake. So as it warms, it gets lovely and sticky. Again, we're going to place it into our oven, 180 degrees, about seven to 10 minutes. So if you still have some toffee sauce left, just place it into a pan and just warm it up gently on the stove if you wish. And then just place our pears to the side. And we're just going to finish with our little bit of extra toffee sauce just over the top of the cake. So that's our sticky toffee pudding with a miso toffee sauce and poached pear. So that's our dessert and we're ready to serve. So I hope you find it really simple and delicious this week. We've gone for a more comforting menu during these colder days and that's about it for me. Happy cooking, stay safe everybody.